What's up guys? What is up? It's Saturday, Saturday afternoon, and um, it's almost time for week 16. So, I guess it's time for me to make my picks, but first of all, the uh, Thursday night game, that, that was some really fantastic stuff. I did not get to watch most of the game because, um, actually that night I decided to watch uh, Fargo so I kinda didn't really focus on the game too much it sucked but I had a chance to watch the movie on that particular at that particular time and I wouldn't have been able to get another chance so I figure you know anyway um the game um you know, Jacksonville went up 14 to nothing, and it was like I wasn't even remotely worried. I was just watching that game thinking, well, whatever. I was like, not even remotely concerned about this. I, I knew Indianapolis was going to come back and at least make it a game. I knew they could overcome that 14 to nothing deficit, so that was kind of interesting. If, if that game didn't lock up the Most Valuable Player Award for Peyton Manning, I don't know what well. I think it would have helped if that game was on national television, which it should be. But not a lot of people have NFL networks, so some people might have missed that game, so he missed out on some potential ma mainstream appeal there. Regardless, this Sunday we're going to have the Vikings and the Falcons play. If Adrian Peterson or Michael Turner just completely annihilates in those games and their team wins, they could take the lead again. If Adrian Peterson or Michael Turner goes for like 200 yards and four touchdowns or whatever, yeah, they can take the lead back. But right now, after the performance he put against Jacksonville, I have to believe Peyton Manning will be the MVP of the league. And, you know, that's awesome. I mean, this Colts team, they've won eight in a row. They're catching every lucky break. They're taking advantage of all these lucky breaks that they're getting and everything else. And, you know, it's been it's been great because it's, it's just fun to watch. And, you know, Tony Dungy and Marvin Harrison, two future Hall of Famers maybe, are probably going to um, retire after this year, so it's good to see things go their way in their final year after things started so off. But again, Peyton Manning, uh, 370 yards, 29 of 34, three touchdowns. He was on the money. Oh, and I have Peyton Manning and Reggie Wayne. I have Peyton Manning in one fantasy league and Reggie Wayne in another fantasy league, so... The playoffs started for me this week. Unfortunately, I have the finals, the final round of the playoffs in week 17. But I got off to a great start this week thanks to those guys. Uh, beyond that, you know, you had Dallas Clark. The Colts could not run the ball. Their defense was very shaky to start the game. And Peyton Manning and that passing offense just made up for everything. And defense came on. Uh, Keon Ratliff has actually been playing pretty good defensive back this year. He made a big pick. <coughs> to, um, you know, uh, pick six that eventually won the game. Uh, Dwight Freeney got some big sacks at the end. I think he had two. Well, I, no, excuse me, he only had one, but it was the one that ended the game. He's having a great year. He's headed to the Pro Bowl. Um, you know, it. it's like right now the Colts and Steelers are getting every break and taking advantage of those breaks and finding a way to win games it's it's been great for them so one of those two teams looks like they're going to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl and whoever makes it might win because they're just like just catching every break I, I don't know how else to put it it's like you sit down at a blackjack table and you just start hitting blackjack after blackjack and you can't believe it. So anyway, Indianapolis wins 31-24. We've got a game tonight. Dallas and Baltimore. There, there's something to be said for the struggles that Dallas has had in December the last several years. So I think about that. 
This is pretty much a must win for both teams. Whoever loses this game will probably miss the playoffs. Whoever wins will probably make it. So, that being said, it's the last game in Dallas Stadium. Baltimore just lost a very tough game. Dallas is coming off that win they had against the Giants. But really, the, uh, this is a must-win game for both teams. Baltimore cannot count on New England losing or Miami losing. Dallas cannot count on uh, Atlanta and Tampa Bay and Philadelphia lose. Hey, I, I guess I'm going to take Baltimore. I, I don't know with this game, guys. I There are so many things to think about, I don't even have an idea. So uh, Cincinnati and Cleveland... Cincinnati has been playing okay lately. Uh, Cleveland is down to their third string quarterback. Cincinnati, you know, their defense is playing pretty well. Their offense, every now and then it finds itself. So I'm going to take Cincinnati on the road. Uh, Tampa Bay, San Diego. Tampa Bay really needs to get their asses in gear if they want to make the postseason. Um, I mean, they could go, I think, 11-5 and five and still miss the postseason. I think there's some scenario under which that could happen. So, they got to get it in gear. And, see, you know, San Diego is going to be very desperate. But you're talking about, excuse me, a, a West Coast team traveling all the way out to Tampa. Like, and it's the Chargers. The Chargers aren't very good. Yeah, I'm going to take Tampa Bay to take that one. Um... There's New England and Arizona. Yeah, I think Arizona might just rest starters the last two weeks, or at least take it easy, because I think they know they're locked in for the fourth seed. So, yeah, I'm going to take New England here. They're, you know, playing for their lives. They have to win out and get outside help. So, I'm taking New England to win that game. It's a long flight for Arizona as well, but Arizona... Do me a favor here. Find a way to pull this one out. Just just find a way. Pittsburgh and Tennessee. The way you beat Pittsburgh is mount a great pass rush. The Titans do not have Albert Hainsworth or Kyle Vandenbosch, two of their defensive linemen and two of their best pass rushers. So I'm going to take Pittsburgh to win this game and take the number one seed in the AFC. Miami, Kansas City. Um... Kansas City just keeps finding ways to lose games. It's it's really extraordinary. If they get a big lead, they're going to find a way to blow it. They have awful clock management, don't know how to hold the lead, and everything else. So, yeah, I'm going to take Miami, but this is the first bad weather game Miami has had this year. Just, just saying. But I'm going to take Miami. New Orleans over Detroit. I expect Drew Brees to air it out for something like 400, 450 yards in this game. He's gunning for the record. It's a long way away, but he can do it, especially after this game against Detroit. When I, when I think he's going to go off, so I'm taking New Orleans. San Francisco, St. Louis. Obviously, I'm going to take San Francisco. I don't have anything to say here. Denver over Buffalo. I thought about it, but... I think Buffalo might have just really been disheartened after all the crap that happened to them this year. So I'm taking Denver to win at home and make sure they lock up the division. I got Houston over Oakland. They're just playing great right now. Houston, ever since they got over the hurricane thing, they've been playing great. Uh, I'm taking the Jets over Seattle now. I think we could win this game. I almost would rather not because I don't want to let New England win the division. But... New York traveling all the way up to the West Coast. I think we could pull this out. But I think I'm going to have to take the Jets here. I think if they can keep the game close, just not let it get the gap get wider than seven points, they'll find a way to come back and win. I'm going to take the Jets. <coughs> I'm going to take the Eagles over the Redskins. Yeah, the um, Redskins, I don't know what happened the last six or seven weeks. Just inexplicable, but... Philadelphia is hot right now. They're playing for the playoff lives. I'm taking Philadelphia. Minnesota, Atlanta. To me, this game is all about maturity. The more mature team is going to win because whoever wins will probably has a good chance at the playoffs. Whoever loses is pretty much out. So, maturity. I think I'm going to take Minnesota here. I think they're a little more mature. Giants over Panthers. I think the Giants are going to bounce back, take care of Carolina. Going to be a good game. 
Carolina, I haven't believed you're ready to fight with the big boys this year. This is your chance to prove you're ready to play with the big boys by beating the Giants in the Meadowlands. But I'm taking the Giants. Finally, I'm taking Chicago over Green Bay. I think Green Bay is kind of packing it in. Chicago is still alive. So that's my picks for this week. See how things go. See you guys later.